do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have studied that what is redox reaction what are the types of redox reaction as well as we have calculated the oxidation number how to do the determination of oxidation number and based on that now we are going to study what are the applications of redox reaction that we are observing in a day to day life so let us see about it so first of all let me tell you that the redox reaction has a great application in metallurgy process mm -hmm. and in metallurgy process there are various reaction in which oxidation involves as well as the reduction is involved so let me talk to you about a small example by taking this equation which is used in metallurgical process in which the zinc band that is zns is combined with the oxygen to form zno and so2 in this process the zinc which has an oxidation number plus 2 is now being converted into zinc that is has the same oxidation number but if you observe that the oxidation number of oxygen which is 0 is been converted into an oxidation number of oxygen in present in the zno that is zinc oxide is minus 2 so in this process basically the oxygen is been converted into minus 2 the oxidation number so the oxidation number decreases this decrease of the oxidation number is known as reduction so therefore this follows the reduction process while in case of sulfur if i observe in this case the sulfur has an oxidation number of minus 4 how because sulfur oh sorry in this case the sulfur has an oxidation number of plus 4 which means the oxidation number of zinc sulfide in this case for sulfur will be since zn has an oxidation number of plus 2 so that for this will have an oxidation number of minus 2 so this minus 2 is now been converted into plus 4 so basically what i am talking about is the oxidation number increases and this increase in oxidation number is known as oxidation so this kind of redox reaction takes place in metallurgical process and this metallurgical process helps to remove the harmful gases like so2 and which is used to form an oxide and that oxide is further used to make the extraction of the pure metal that is in the form of zinc and in the form of various metals so metallurgy process has a very great enhancement with the help of the redox reaction that takes place in it moving towards the next example which is taking place in the redox reaction that is in this case the zno that is zinc oxide is treated with the carbon and the carbon helps to remove the oxygen and hence we could get a pure metal like zinc without the oxygen atom involved in it so in this case if we observe that the zinc has an oxidation number of plus 2 because the oxygen has an oxidation number of minus 2 so it is now been converted into an oxidation number of 0 so the value of the oxidation number decreases from plus 2 to 0 so therefore this process is known as reduction while in case of carbon dioxide if we observe since the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 so therefore consider the oxidation number of uh, the carbon in this case will be plus 2 while that of the atomic carbon that is the elemental carbon will have an oxidation number of 0 so in this case it has been converted from 0 to plus 2 means it has an oxidation number from lower to higher and hence it is showing oxidation so therefore this are such the importance of metallurgy in which the reduction or oxidation as well as we could say redox reaction is involved and without of which the metal extraction is quite impossible so this are the very great applications of redox reaction that takes place in metallurgy to obtain pure metal so let us move towards the next example or next application of redox reaction that is in batteries the common battery that we are using uh, in a chemical lab that is daniel cell and in this cell the zinc anode is involved as well as the 
copper uh, cathode has been involved. So since at anode oxidation happens, so the zinc element which is present in solid form, it gets dissolved into Zn2 plus by eliminating two electron. This removal of electron is nothing but oxidation itself. While these two electrons are being accepted by the copper sulfate solution in which the copper has an oxidation number of Cu2 plus. So these Cu2 plus ions which are present in the copper sulfate accepts the two electrons of uh, that are generated from the zinc atom and now they get reduced to copper solid which is a reduction process and hence the overall process will be that is zinc which is in a solid form and copper sulfate which is in aqueous form will give us a reaction in which Zn2 plus in aqueous form gives us copper in a solid form. So this kind of redox reaction takes place in batteries and hence because of this we could get electricity, we could generate electricity and that is what uh, the redox reaction are very important in batteries. It might be in dry cell also. There are various cells like lead storage battery, uh, fuel cell and this Daniel cell which are very helpful in our day to day life to generate electricity. So move towards the next one. The next one is they are used in bleaching. In bleaching also the redox reaction occurs. For example, if I would uh, say this NaOCl removes the stains from the clothes. So the oxidation number of oxygen in this case is minus 2. So this minus 2 is being oxidized to 0 by giving the two electrons. So since this oxidation changes, so the stain that has uh, been oxidized with the help of this oxygen atom which is present in NaOCl and since they are getting oxidized means they are very uh, easily soluble in water and hence they are getting dissociated or they will remove from the clothes uh, the stain will remove from the clothes to which they are attached and hence we can wash the clothes and the application of that would be the redox reaction only and uh, talking about the next one that is H2O2 hydrogen peroxide it is used in bleaching of dark hair and uh, in this case the oxidation state of the oxygen is minus one so this minus one converts itself into uh, minus two so as to uh, generate uh, an oxidation number of minus two and hence this kind of redox reaction takes place and uh, we get a nice color after bleaching. So this is what the application of uh, redox reaction in bleaching process moving towards the next. Now, the last one is uh, combustion. Again, it is a part of a metallurgy in which uh, the impure metals are being oxidized uh, in presence of oxygen or they are burned in presence of oxygen. In this case, if uh, I would consider this magnesium is now treated with or is combusted with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. This magnesium has an oxidation number of zero, while this magnesium has an oxidation number of plus two. While the oxygen has an oxidation number of zero and in this case it is minus two. So zero is been converted into plus 2 means oxidation reaction has been occurring while this 0 is been converted into minus 2 that means reduction reaction has been happened. So these are the very important reactions in uh, metallurgical processes in which the redox reaction occurs and hence we could get or we could eliminate the uh, impurity. And the last one is in corrosion. Corrosion is a very effective uh, process that uh, leads to so much of destruction of metals and hence for economical uh, issues also. So if I could say that uh, corrosion happens uh, in presence of oxygen and in presence of water, in this case it only uh, it mostly occurs that we know that uh, it occurs when it occurs at iron. It is known as rust so therefore this iron which has an oxidation number of zero is now being converted to the oxidation number of iron which converts to plus three while in case of oxygen which has an oxidation number of zero is now being converted into oxidation number of minus two so
So this convergence where it leads to an oxidation and reduction that is the overall redox reaction helps in the corrosion and hence great damage can occur. So this were the few examples and few applications of the redox reactions uh, that we have understood right now. So thank you friends for watching this video. Share this video with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.